Today I'm looking at the um, birth chart of myself and I'm going to show you how astrology works and how if you can read your own chart or you begin to understand what a chart is, how it can help you sort your life out and evolve and become individuated and follow your path in life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and see what I can do come up with here let me just see astro and i've got this and here i'm back and i'm going to share my screen that's the plan so right okay so what we have is um in evolutionary astrology which i study um we look this is what we do this is my chart that you can see on the screen what we do is that we look at, to begin with, we look at Pluto and we look at the nodes. And the reason we do that is because um, Pluto is to do with our soul and the nodes are to do with past life and this life. So let me grab my pointer and show you. Okay, so my Pluto is here on my chart and Pluto in my ninth house and it's in Virgo. So if you had your own chart, you'd be able to see where your Pluto is. And you can see that mine is on my MC. So my MC is 20, but we give an orb. Um, an orb is uh, so many degrees, which can still mean that it will be a conjunction or not. So you can see that here my Neptune is conjunct my south node. And Neptune is to do with... Uh, consciousness beyond the veil, the totality of consciousness. We've also got, um, let's see what I can show you. We've got also, um, these are my conjunctions here. We've also got my son, which is on my DC. So my son is also conjunct my DC, which is their descendant. And we've got, I've got a conjunction of 23, 24, 25 in Taurus, which is Mercury and Mars and the South Node, North Node, sorry, North Node. So North Node is this life path. And in fact, it's conjunct, my North Node is conjunct my descendant and also conjunct five degrees my sun. So all of these planets are conjunct, but the 23 to there is a weak conjunction. This is Venus and that's in Aries. And my Saturn is conjunct my Chiron, which is in my fourth house. And basically, if one can read a chart, then you can begin to see what's going on in your life. I mean, every symbol means something. Every house placement means something. Every degree means something. And today, um, for all of us, we've got the planets um, in Capricorn. Um, we've got Pluto. And we've got conjunct the south node and we've also got conjunct Saturn. So you can see for all of us, so wherever your Capricorn is in your chart, mine is in my second house because my rising sign is Scorpio, which is here. My rising sign just there. And the reason I know what my rising sign is, is because of my time of birth. And without your time of birth, you're not going to know what your rising sign is. And if you wanted help with that, I'm going to put a link below so you can look at, um, get your own chart. And if you've got your birth time, you're going to come up with your, with your rising sign. And it's very useful knowledge to help us heal um, and look at any trauma that we've had in our lives. And so I strongly suggest you begin to maybe have a look and see what it means for you. And then as I'm probably going to do a few more videos, what I'm planning on doing is probably doing a live on astrology once a week and bringing somebody on and looking at their chart with them. So if you're up for that, you can put a message in the link below or you can email me and say, yeah, look at my chart. So I'm going to leave it there for today. It's a short video just to let you know a little bit about, about, little bit about astrology. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.